trying to go out and destroy everything that we've worked for for such a very long time, that this gives us, a, it's a flower blossoming in the sense of uniting American society to stand up and set down these class divides, race divides, whatever it may be, to put those things behind us because ultimately we are human beings and importantly we are American citizens whose tax money is being used to kill people across the world. And this is not just a new thing. This has been happening from the very beginning. This is what the American government was founded upon. And so this idea of, of us paying for a system that is bent on destroying the world, not only other countries, but our environment, both here and overseas, is something that we need to effectively resist. And resisting is, is not quite enough. We need to refuse that this is not going to continue, that this is not going to happen. This planet needs to stay here for our children. Our children need to drink fresh water. Our children need to breathe fresh air. The idea that we are separate is an outdated model, and as we evolve, as one consciousness on this planet, we need to stand up for each other. And one child dying from an American's bomb is on all of our hands, because that's our tax money. Our government is fulfilling the death and, 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 and merciless killings from drones for a very long time. And this is something that we can no longer accept as being a norm. about the militarization of our, our planet by the hands of the American government, um, you know, it, that, that idea is a trickle-down effect as you look at our police departments across the nation as they be, become more and more militarized. And this is becoming a normal thing. Spokane Valley just received a big light tank thing. I mean, how is this possibly going to be uh, the norm? And, 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 and it is. It's becoming an everyday thing. People are, you know, our, our citizens, American citizens are dying in the streets and the police are not being held accountable. Especially in Washington State. Washington State is ranked number 50 by Amnesty International and police accountability laws. And it's not the fact that Native Americans are dying uh, in the streets by the hand of police or black people are dying. It's the fact that American citizens are being killed in the streets and American citizens are allowing it to happen. This can no longer continue. We cannot separate ourselves. You know, I wouldn't be out on the street if anyone died or if anyone was doing these things because it's for the betterment of all of us. And that, that pain affects us all on a conscious level. And we talk about, we talk about Donald Trump and, and his ridiculous concept of a wall and keeping out immigration. And you know, take, it, take it from a Native American, walls don't keep people out. I'm gonna tell you that one. <laughs> Trump was elected, I was working as a field organizer for a couple of political action committees, effectively running two successful campaigns in Washington State. And after he was elected, I stopped doing that and went completely autonomous under the fiscal sponsorship of the Backbone campaign. And, you know, I, 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 I had uh, effectively went out to Standing Rock numerous times, took about six trips out there, and brought about 35 people from our local area and other groups alongside to, to not only stand up for minority rights, but for the protection of our environment. And that's something that's really, really a true sectional thing. That the, the idea of the black snake and being a prophecy is, is something that's in our own backyard. Our, the dirty transportation of fossil fuels is coming through our city 
every single day. Bomb trains, coal trains, all these things are coming through our cities and we have been accepting it as a norm. The, the transportation of fracking oil has only been happening for the past 12 years in Washington state. But this is the black snake and with the Safer Spokane campaign, which is effectively trying to go after the owners of un, unrefined coal cars coming through our city, is one step in the right direction. And it's, it, it really makes me happy as far as being a local organizer here to see that there's such such beautiful movement for people to unite and say, hey, listen, we don't have to live this way any longer. Um, the destruction of our planet is something that we cannot allow to happen. This is our home. This is our home. And we are human beings. We are not separated by class, you know, race, whatever preconcept thing that, that is trying to keep us separated. And the fact that we, we are starting to wake up as one consciousness is a beautiful moment. And I'm so proud and so privileged to be here in this community and to stand here and, and share my words with you because the truth is that we are one consciousness, that we are human beings and we need to look out for each other because this is the only planet that we have and we only have each other. There is no separation between country or person, that we are one consciousness because this is our planet. And I hope that you can take this into your, your minds and your thoughts because the government works for us. We oh, don't yeah. work for the government. So resist, but more importantly, refuse and allow the protection of our planet to heal itself. That's something that really will take place. So I appreciate you all very much for being here, and I appreciate everybody for all the hard work and valiant efforts to unite us here. So thank you very much.